Hey everyone, Technometry here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to force restart a frozen, stuck, unresponsive, screen not working, iPad Air 4th generation. Now this method, we want to do, if you're having any of this issue, it will fix it after applying this quick little fix. So in order to do a force restart, first thing is we're going to want to go ahead and press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down, and then hold on to this top touch ID or the lock button until the screen goes completely black and once you see the Apple logo up here you'll let go of that touch ID or the top lock button so let's show you how that's done so I'm gonna first press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then I hold on to that top lock or that touch ID button here and as you can see it's a slide to power off but do not need to touch that just wait for the screen to go completely black and once the Apple logo up here, you let go of that top button. And all it does is, again, shuts down the phone, so the iPad software completely, and then reloads the code. So if you're having any software-related issue that's causing the iPad to be frozen, stuck, unresponsive, screen not working, it will fix it, and you should be back in business. You will not lose any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, everything still be on your iPad. And you can do it a few times if you start, still can't get it because it sometimes takes a few times to get the hang of it. Again, just volume up, volume down, just like that, and then hold on to that touch ID or the lock button, just like I am here. And you'll see here, this will fix pretty much most software related issue that your iPad experiences on your iPad. And you can see here, again, same exact thing. You can do it as many times as you need to. And I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider hitting that like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.